up guys, gals, whoever's watching this, it's currently 5.30 in the afternoon and I am, well 5.30 in the evening I should say, uh, but anyways I am on my way to Ride Out Supply headquarters to work on one of my bikes that I have over there. So you guys probably seen the 10 speed. Whoa, 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 camera, chill. Can y'all see me good? Damn. This is what, this is, this is just what the angle has to be because this tripod sucks. It's a $20 Amazon special tripod we're using on the Sony A7 IV, A7 Mark IV. It's a loner camera. Shout out to my boy Max Films. My boy Max. He let me use his camera for this trip that I'm on. I'm right now I'm in Philly. Ridley Park. It's a little town. It's a chill area. It's not too crazy. I mean I like I like coming out here. Get a little mind reset sometimes. Just change the scenery. And just you feel me? Just reset, you know? Hang out with my guy, LJ. Very smart guy. He knows a lot. And he be teaching me and mentor, mentoring me on a lot of stuff. So coming out here just kind of gives me uh, a boost of energy sometimes. It's like an energy drink. Everyone has their own opinion about Philly and the surrounding areas. But I think it's a vibe out here. I got some homies out here too. Shout out Rosati. Shout out One Way Corey. Shout out my guy Stefan. Martin. Feel me? Anywho. You no, know, Philly's like a third home. I can't say it's second home. It's like a third home. I be out here a lot. More than usual. We about to go to the warehouse and work on my 10 speed HD Big Ripper. It does have a 10 speed conversion on it and it did work well. I mean, it had its pros and it had its cons. And I'ma just go ahead and start with the cons of the bike is an HD Big Ripper is not meant to have gears. A HD Big Ripper is not meant to have gears. It is a single speed bike that I feel like is the best way that bike will work properly. But the last time I was out here in January and I took that bike for a ride, it just, the gears were clanking. Off camera, the gears be clanking. So that's something I want to start showing y'all too, is like the flaws of when you do custom builds, you know, things could go wrong. You feel me? And I was in Florida and I was chilling. And I was thinking about that bike like, dang, I want to do something to it. Like, I don't know, just put it back original, put it back to stock, you know, just make it an HD Big Ripper again because I had an HD Big Ripper a year ago, but I ended up blessing one of the homies, shout out my boy Wings. He owns my old HD Big Ripper. So after I blessed him with that, I knew I would get another one, which I did. And I snapped, you feel me? I snapped. I made that one better than the first one I had. You know, the gears at Ebro, I mean, that thing was slicing, dude. That thing was cutting, but I'm not gonna say it was working A1. That, I will say, it was definitely not working A1, so. It's a little bright with y'all down there, man. So. Driving and trying to adjust the camera is crazy. Don't try this at home. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh! That light turned yellow quick. How's that? We on our Sam Selleck vibes right now. Oh, we on the Sam Selleck vibes right now! Yo, this camera angle is a little clean. Dude, I love this camera, dude. Y'all comment down below. What y'all think of the big camera videos? Y'all like the iPhone videos or? Y'all like the big cam videos. Heading to the warehouse. 
I haven't seen this bike since January. It's probably dusty. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure the current condition of it. I don't know if my guy LJ let somebody ride it while I was gone. I mean, I wouldn't care. Anybody can use that bike. I really be giving a pass off on bikes. Like, pfft. dude, 2021 MLK, when I first got sponsored by SC, and I remember some SC members came out there and they didn't have no bike. I don't want to name drop. Bro, how you fly to a ride out with no bike? Or at least no bike ready. You feel me? So, anywho, I'm like, you know, I'm going to come through. Boom. Loaned out my Miami Big Ripper. <laughs> People are like, yo, you tripping, Steezy. Boom. Loaned out my Monster Quad. That got clapped. Loaned out my quad angle. That, that STR I built. Bruh. I was bugging. Loaned out my Fast Ripper. And that got wrecked. That's the price that comes with being nice. I knew we ran over a pothole, so I didn't want the camera to fly. That's the price that comes with being nice. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. I learned a lot in bike life. Bike life taught me a lot. Like, taught me a lot about people. Taught me a lot about life. You see a lot of things when you travel on these bikes too going to different cities and different states with these bikes. It's a, it's a different feeling, you know. Yeah, you just see a lot. But my passion for bikes really, like, I fell in love more with this passion of bike life when I traveled, bruh. When I first traveled, dog, like, I think I'm gonna just hold the camera and drive because this tripod sucks. Y'all see me good? These lens is too close up for me. Y'all see me good? What's up? Got me looking like the dark night. Anyways, I got a recommendation for my viewers. If you feel like getting a change of scenery go get a change of scenery one of the best things that you could do for your mind is just get out of get get out of the city that you live in sometimes and just change the scenery up you feel me if you wake up and you feel like going to new york figure out how you can go to new york you feel like going to freaking spain or something London, wherever, figure out how to get there and, and get there because it's just one of, the, one of the best feelings. Come on, get lighter. Got me looking like a shadow. About to get flamed in the comments. Man. All right. We're like two minutes away from the warehouse and we're about to see the HD Big Ripper with the gears on it. Miss that bike, man. That is one of my favorite bikes for sure is a bike that comes with disc brakes. I wish all Big Rippers came with disc brakes. Somebody needs to make a bike for bike life. Good disc brakes. We need disc brakes, man. Disc brakes, good gears, like good components, all that good stuff. Pac-Man real quick. Fuck 
Dale, vamos. Got him. Bam. Got him. Bam. Got him. Oh. Damn, them boys coming in hot. Oh, they blitz. I got switch oh well 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 oh Kaden dang do I really want to make it back stock though the green and black is kind of hitting guys I literally never forget I was disassembling the fast stripper because I was about to get it broken down so I could take it to Ebro and this is back in September of 2023 but about to get ready to go to catch my flight last minute disassembling my bike and I discovered that the fast stripper frame is cracked the Nardo gray that I built cracked and I was like whoa I have to catch a flight in an hour and my bike is not eligible to go. My bike is not ready to go. Bruh, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then I remember I bought this thing off my guy, LJ. And I was like, I got to make it a 10 speed. I wanted a 10 speed at that ride. I wanted to be cutting up at Ebro on a 10 speed. 2022 Ebro, I was on a single speed big ripper with disc brakes and it was fun but those hills i knew when i the next time i went out there i need a bike with gear so i had to build this last minute and it was fun you know give y'all a quick little rundown walkthrough of the bike before i take it apart because i'm gonna stick to the plan i'm gonna make this bike a single speed again but i'll give y'all a little walk around so start with the brakes because they are my favorite hope tech I want to say Hope Tech Pro 3 single piston brakes or Pro 4. No, so Hope Tech 3. Hope Tech 3 brakes, single piston. They have a dual piston and they have a single piston. They don't even make these no more. They don't even make these brakes no more. I mean, they still make these brakes, but they don't make this model hard to find. So. That was another reason why I'm literally out here is I, I need to pull some of these parts off and put them on one of my other bikes back in Florida because I pay a lot of money for these brakes. These brakes are 300 bucks. Moving on, we got the Broke Boys Unclear Coated. That's why they have that little rust finish to them. And believe it or not, I don't really have a problem with that little rust on there. It's kind of cool. It gives it a little character. Um, Kind of. Not really. It does need to get cleaned up a bit, but... Broke Boys two-piece handlebars. I'm not sure how wide they are, but these are some of my favorite bars to run on all my bikes. Either the two-piece or the four-piece. Those are one of my favorite bars to run. We got the TNT M80 custom-built wheels. The front wheel has a Merit non-stop hub on it. So pretty much when I'm doing a wheelie, this rim will stop, will literally spin for forever. Like I'm gonna flip the bike upside down. show y'all this wheel literally spins for forever like literally we'll just spin so i'm gonna continue to walk around while that thing is still spinning uh hope tech pro 4 hubs so i do have a hope tech pro 4 hub 10 speed in the back the wheels are cool the the wheels feel strong these are one of the best wheel sets I've ever built. Like, I literally told myself I needed to put some nice wheels on that other fast ripper frame that cracked. 
and literally nice wheels for a broken bike. And I was just like, dang, I just got these wheels built just to find out that they're not all gray frame cracks. So it was like, well, what do I do now? And that's another reason why this thing turned into a 10 speed. But I do have another fast stripper back in Florida, the high polish with the blue wheels that you guys see me on. I want to put some of these parts on that bike. So I have to put this bike back to a single speed before I can do any of that. We got a ride out supply, 33 tooth or 32 tooth, I believe. I'm not sure which one, but it's a good sprocket. You know, you could run these on your fast strippers. Any any geared bike is pretty much what that sprocket right there is made for. If you guys are interested in a sprocket like that, I have a link in the description down below. Nothing really too crazy done to this thing. It really just was a big ripper, and I literally put gears on it. Uh, the bottom bracket stock. See, that's the stock gold bottom bracket. Uh, I want to. I do want to touch on the brakes though. The brakes do have a steel braided line so they're not like the regular black lines that come on brakes they're like this is literally a steel braided line like motorcycles be running these like cars that have hydraulic clutches be having these kind of uh, lines on there so steel braided lines is where it's at i've never had to bleed my brakes i've never had problems with my brakes even when having this thing upside down so definitely 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 would recommend steel braided lines on your bike what else is done to this thing let me flip this thing back up though because we do need to start working on it gotta set y'all up this tripod sucks so i might have just put a bunch of boxes on top of each other and pretty much Get the camera sitting as high as we can and just hope for the best. You feel me? I try to talk a little bit louder than usual while I'm working on this bike because I do have Bluetooth wireless mics, but I left them back in Florida because I didn't think I would be on these vlogging vibes. But I've been having many requests that I should be vlogging more so. I'm going to be vlogging more and just chatting with the viewers, just con trying to connect with you guys more. So comment down below. If I'm yapping, comment down yap session in the, back in the, in the comments down below. Yap session. But Vlogger Steez is definitely, definitely in full effect these next couple of months. I do be doing some cool stuff on and off the bikes. So. Alright y'all, off camera, I've been trying to find the right angle to have myself in the frame and somewhat of the bike in the frame because with these lens that are on this camera it's a 28 to 70 lens you camera guys with a low aperture for you camera guys out there y'all know that those 28 to 70 millimeter lens are not for up close filming like you got you kind of got to be far away like if i get close to the camera i'm cropped out because i'm so tall so i kind of have the camera like mad far right now but let me see maybe i can raise the bike up a little bit Alright, so the first order of business, I'm going to take these wheels off. These wheels are being held on by, I want to say an 8 millimeter Allen key. Got this Allen key, I think it's the right size, yep it is. Easy. Easy steezy. Easy steezy. You feel me? Bad right now. Alright, mic check with the iPhone. I'm gonna use the audio off this because I know the camera is so far away. You gotta listen to Steezy chat and yap while he works on his bike because I don't know what else to what else to tell y'all. You feel me? Just not really much on my mind other than get this bike back to a single speed bike. You feel me? Um, 
ain't nothing like a, having a stock bike. Those are my wheel washers, Gucci. Yeah, got the wheel off. TNT M80 wheel. This brake rotor is a 180. Pro tip, guys, if you guys want some good stopping brakes on demand every time, a 180 millimeter rotor rotor will help you out with that. Hold on one second. Guys, 180 millimeter Tektra rotor. Link is in the description. Upgrade your brakes. You want to have good stopping power. And yeah, build you a wheel. Also, Maxi's hookworms. I used to not be a fan of Maxi's hookworms. I repeat, I used to not be a fan of Maxi's hookworms, but they're one of the best tires in the game, hands down. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. Maxi's hookworms are some of the best tires in the game. No kidding. Let's get this front wheel taken off. Let's get the front wheel taking off. The front wheel believe it's a 17 or a 18 socket let me see a 17 17 for show you guys are probably wondering why is that bolt so big is because these merit non-stop hubs use don't use axle nuts. They use like these screw on bolts. You could use an Allen key to take these bolts off. Pretty easy. We now have the front wheel off. Another tip from your boy Steezy. Put a Presta tube in your front tire so that the wheel's lighter in the front so that when you're wheeling, you know, you just reduce the weight of the bike. With a, with a Presta tube, because the Presta tubes are more lighter than a regular tube, in my opinion. They're like mountain bike tubes, so my front wheel's light. I think I'm only running like 28, 30 PSI in this thing. Not sure. It's been a while since I rode this thing, so and it's been cold out here in Philly, so I'm pretty sure some air has deflated from its sitting, but I could be chatting also because it kind of does still feel the same. How I had it from last time, but yeah, I just burped and that shit stinks. Damn, front tires off. Moving on, taking the brakes off, and gonna take this chain off, and we're gonna take the sprocket off. I need to try to find a regular sprocket for this thing because that is a 33 or 32 tooth narrow wide sprocket and you can only use that sprocket for gears. I take the brakes off obviously and put all the stock parts back on which is pretty much the rims. I think I am gonna swap the maxis on here to the gold rims. And what else do we need to do? It's pretty much it. It's Start putting it back to stock. It's really just got to start doing it. The key is just starting. Talk up, don't talk about it. Start. Let me go get these rims real quick. Keep your parts. Always keep your parts. You never know when you're going to need them. Could've, I could have sold those rims on eBay for like 300 bucks, 200 bucks or something. You can't even buy these rims for real. So if I really wanted to make some money off them, I could, but I'm not because I need those rims for what I'm trying to do to this thing. So we're going to start cutting these zip ties. Dun, dun. 
one. Two and three. Just like that. Zip ties are my best friend. Like zip, zip ties always be coming through clutch with builds. You can use zip zip ties literally to save the day if you got a couple of them on you. Always keep zip ties on you. You'll be a real lifesaver at some of these ride outs, saving up, saving some of these worms. Save these clips. These clips be coming in clutch too. Put these back on. Should I powder coat this bike? Kodak Black has a brown wrapped Lamborghini with gold wheels that I seen in a video that he posted on his YouTube channel and I'm gonna have a video of it on the screen and that color combo hit like the brown with the gold wheels like what color should i powder coat this thing i want to do like a nice cream color with this bike like something clean like kind of like show quality bring this thing to a bike show type of deal like just a nice color the hd green is cool but green is not me you feel me i'm from florida and one of the terms we say is green eye jit I ain't a green eye jit. So the green, this green eye bike gotta go. <laughs> you feel me? The green eye bike gotta go. But nah, y'all comment down below. What color should I powder coat this thing? Oh man. I'm taking these freaking brakes off now. Oh, you know what? This bike needs brakes anyways, because I think I gave away my old but yeah i did i gave away my old brakes to my boy j mall because ebro he came out here and his brakes weren't working good so he last minute needed some brakes and i was like bro i got you and literally blessed him with my old brakes so i just realized if i take these brakes off i'll have a bike with no brakes why would i not want to have a bike with brakes you feel me so when I get back to Florida, I have to figure out what brakes I'm going to throw on the fast stripper. I don't even want to have to take this whole grip off because that's like just adding extra time and extra stress on myself for no reason. So I'm going to just go ahead and oh, let me put my pants up. Y'all, my fault. I got my boxers showing. My fault, y'all. Put my pants up and get this derailleur shifter off. I'm going to leave the hanger on there because I don't feel like taking off this grip. There's not an air compressor in here, so taking off that grip is not going to be easy. I don't feel like going through all that. So. Get the shifter off. Got to disconnect this chain, which shouldn't be too hard. I don't have a chain breaker, but these have master links. So what I like to do is give me some... Some pliers or something. Find the master link and just try to break it off. Not break it off. There's a way to take it off. There's like an arrow direction on the master link. And I just pretty much use that as a guide to break this chain off. Takes a little bit, but we're going to do it. I was actually doing it on the wrong side. So now I'm about to get this thing off. Oh. Can't really see it, bro. Let's go, let's go. Bam. Just like that. 
be careful because you don't want to lose that clip that comes on these master these chains with master links i've got guys that i've seen guys break down at ride outs because of a freaking master link let me show you the master link i'm talking about for reference y'all see this master link this is the master link for the chain guys have guys at ride outs have literally broken down because these things will snap on you like just come off or whatever the case may be but if you have a chain breaker on you you feel me if you got one of these on you you could save yourself i've seen i remember my guy i remember one time one of the homies at ebro chain broke and we were about to leave him. Like, I thought he was done for. But somebody had a chain break on him. He was able to make his chain work. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Pretty cool moment. But, yeah. Those chains with the master link can, can ruin your day for sure. If, if it breaks on you. Now, it's time for the not so fun part. And that is swapping the freaking tires over mic check mic check mic check 212 all right let's go ahead and start with the back okay. so, hd big ripper rim aftermarket free will this thing is sounds crazy it has a drag on it but it's it's a very very powerful free will and it's still not broken in it's a brand new free will prototype i don't even know if i'm allowed to tell y'all what free will that is i might have to i might have to see if i'm allowed to talk about that free will i mean it is a prototype man not from a specific company or anything but I don't know that sound clip alone might have been too much I might have to mute the sound of that I have to find out if I'm allowed to talk about it first but right now I'm deflating the air in the front rim oh wait no I want to press the tube in the front Dusties. I want the pressure tube in the front rim and I want the regular trader tube in the back wheel. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Letting out all the air. Inner tube air stinks. Look. Come on, this thing takes forever sometimes. There's a tool for this, but I don't think we have one of those here at the warehouse. Yeah, we need to get some tools up in this thing. All right, that should be enough. Y'all literally gonna watch that time lapse. Y'all literally just watched the time lapse of me fighting to get this freaking tire off. <sighs> I ain't complaining. I mean, bro, Maxi Hilton was all the best tire in the game, but those rims, the way it's designed, just kind of makes it difficult for that tire. To come on but anyways we got it off now this is always the easy part which is mounting 
the tire. I like to start with one side of the tire first, work my way around, and then start with the other. It's sad how many people in bike life don't know how to change their own inner tube. If you ride a bike, this, this is a must have skill to learn. Like you've got to know how to install a tire on a on a rim. You feel me? That's just it's Mando. Oh, LJ's calling me. Yo, what's up, LJ? I'm working for sure. All right, bro. Later. Shout out my guy LJ, checking up on the boy, make sure it's Gucci. That real? <sighs> Guess what, guys? This one was a bit easier then the rear taking off. Way, way much easier. If you know how to take a tire off without tire levers, I mean, go for it, but Tire levers just will help out a lot and take the stress off your fingers because that was extremely hard to take off, low key. My fingers are gonna be sore after that. Oh, let's go in the front tube. Front tube and tire again, start with one side. around, make sure. And I'll get the tube up in there. come with these Presta tubes, putting it on so that my valve is not moving and I don't pinch the valve. Now it's time to get the reels on. Back to stock, boys. Back to stock, boys. My first Big Ripper that I ever converted to a 10 speed. Yes, it is possible to convert it to a 10 speed if you if you would like but to me i just felt like this bike just needed to be stock it's a hd big ripper with some nice gold components i don't think this isn't anodized i think this is anodized gold actually it's not real gold obviously but the anodized gold does look good with the green, but I definitely want to powder coat this thing a different color. And also, I do want to apologize in, a, in advance if I said butt too much, because I honestly hate when I'm talking to the cam and I'm like, but, 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 or, uh, like, with this YouTube stuff that, like, kills an audience retention span. Attention span or retention, but <laughs> just said it again. <laughs> Go figure, right? But yeah, I do apologize in advance. So 
So now that I remember, this is a bigger uh, brake mount on this bike. So this brake mount is made to fit a 180 millimeter and I forgot there is a 160 still on here. So what I'm gonna do is take off the rotor on my old rim and put it on the gold rim so that I can run a 180 brake rotor on a big ripper. Trust me guys, the 180 rotors is where it's at. So I'm gonna swap that over real quick. So, take on off changing a rotor. It's not hard, it's just kind of time consuming because there's six bolts on here and you have to carefully unscrew each of them. So let me bring it down here so y'all can see me. These lens is cropped in too much, so I kind of got to duck in for y'all to see me do this. But yep, got six screws. Where's my mic at? Come on, Mike. You working right now? We got six screws that we need to take out of here. One, two. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because this is honestly boring stuff that you guys don't really need to see, but I'm gonna film it anyways, just because. You know, just why not showing y'all working on my bike? Literally, I'm only in Philly for a few days, and I can't really do much riding because it's raining out right now. Saturday is supposed to be a nice day, so Friday or Saturday is supposed to be a nice day. So one of those days, I'll see if I could link up a one-way Corey or some. One-way Corey does have his own bike with Mafia bikes coming out soon, so who knows? Maybe my guy will let us do a little review on that thing. Now we need to take out the screws in the back rim of the old. Now we need to take out these screws. Oh, drop the bolt. Oh, that screw is loose. That's why it's always good when you go out and ride Sometimes it's always good to do a bolt check because if I would have went out and rode and I try to hit my big brakes with these loose screws, not only will you damage the hub, you could risk snapping the disc because another loose screw. You can risk snapping the disc because there's play. And when there's play and all your weight, the moment you hit your brake while doing a wheelie, all your weight could literally just pull on these little mounts. A few mounts on here. They're not the best, but. Your weight could literally snap these bolts right off. Boom, got that off. Don't need this. Let's go ahead and come over here. Grab this. Put this right here. I'm gonna try to see my face. My handsome fella. Feel me? My handsome fella. So. so. Let's go ahead and put this there. So I'm gonna start off with putting in three, tighten them, and then put in the other three so that they're like evenly tightened and I don't really want to have to worry about them coming loose again so put three in kind of like a triangle pattern uh, tighten them Tight. All right, 
those three are tight. Now let's put in the other three and tighten them. Tighten. Tighten. Teen Titans. <laughs> and then tighten that one. Hopefully they don't come loose again. They probably will. I'll just check them over time. But other than that, this is now this now has a 180 millimeter brake rotor on there. That means more stopping power, guys. Go ahead and put this back wheel on now. Back wheel's not going on because I need to loosen up the brake rotor. I gotta loosen this up so I could slide that back wheel on because the rotor, the the rotor, the, the rotor is big. Oh, I need, I need new brake pads soon too. Good thing I'm, I'm seeing that now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some ordered. The New York Hills. Had these brakes working, Ebro. Had them brakes working, Ebro. No cap. I gotta admit though, the green and gold with the with the Maxi's hook worms is kind of hitting right now. They they kind of hit it right now. I'm gonna show y'all the bike in a bit. I don't even know if I have the old chain for this thing. He, this thing is now pretty much back to stock. The only thing there is left to do is find the old chain for it and pretty much find a regular sprocket for that as well. So these bikes come with a 36 tooth in the front and a 16 tooth and the rear. And with these hubs, you can't go no smaller than a 16 tooth on these stock SC hubs because they're literally on the only design for nothing below a 16 tooth freewheel. So if I wanted to run a 15 tooth, I couldn't. And these are not flip flop hubs. So I can, no, I cannot put them on the other side because this bike is disc brakes. I was gonna do the 33 16 gear ratio but the bike's gonna be too easy to wheelie and after a while of wheeling a bike that's too easy to wheelie you get tired and i don't want that so i'm gonna be installing a 36 tooth sprocket from rider supply pretty much that'll be making this bike a single speed again sorry not sorry for those that actually liked the setup trust me i like the setup too i gotta get this camera angle for y'all i like the setup too but i just felt like again this bike need needed to be stock so. sometimes you gotta go with your gut feeling you gotta just go with your gut feeling sometimes ouch
take that screw off. This thing is going to be a little pain to take off. For some reason, it decides that it wants to be stuck in here. So, got to go the old-fashioned way and use this peg. Use the peg. Crazy. That was loose. Bike was probably due for a tune up, honestly. The way I was freaking thrashing on this thing at Ebro. Like, brand new bike, and this thing got thrashed at Ebro. So there's a screw that goes on the right side of the crank arm. So when installing your new sprocket, you want to make sure first you have the outside facing properly which is the ROS, and then you wanna slide it on like that. And you don't need a, a spacer when you're installing these sprockets, so it's pretty much just slide it on and grab the bolt, tighten it, because it's already adjusted properly because you don't need the spacer. On some of the SE sprockets that come on these bikes, you need a, there's a spacer on the crank and the spindle, but helps keep the sprocket aligned. I personally am not a big fan of those. So with the ROS sprockets, just put it on perfect the first time. 36, 36, 36 to 16. That's a good ratio. Uh, it's something fast for sure. This bike is gonna definitely so, this bike is definitely going to be moving through the pack, but that's what it's honestly going to be for because this is going to really be one of my like cruiser style bikes. Like I don't want, not everything needs to be a cut up machine. Like it, it is nice to be able to go on a nice long ride and pedal fast and not have to worry about nothing, you know what I mean? Not saying that any other gear ratio has a problem, but I just want the purpose of this bike to be something I can just jump on and, and just cruise on, you know? I like going on cruises lately with my bike, so it's not everything doesn't mean need to be ride around the city, you feel me, ride around the town and and cause trouble wheeling and traffic and stuff like that. Like, I've been on some chill-ish lately. Some chill-ish lately, just trying to stay out the way. Cause these drivers, they are not really big fan of us, of us bike life. People kind of get the wrong image of bike life. Think we just want to be out in the streets wheeling and causing problems and stuff like that. Like really, we just want to be able to clear our mind. And this bike is one of those bikes that I want. Like if I feel like going on a chill vibe, clear my mind, this this bike will be that. You feel me? Single speed, cruiser, anybody can use it. You feel me? This is what that bike will be for. But this is my baby, so I don't really know how much, how many people are going to be riding this thing. I say that now and then, next thing you know, I let somebody use this thing. I'm going to keep that stuck in there. All right. I got to get a chain for this thing. Put the air in the tires. I guess I'll put the air in the tires. Get that over with. Dude, I love this air pump. Like, it's so cool. You literally just turn it on, put how much PSI you want to put in there, and it's going to literally fill it up until it gets to that. 
so I'm just gonna start with this. There we go. I have PTSD from tubes exploding in my face. So what I like to do is make sure it's seated properly on the rim before I continue putting in air. Cause right now we're at eight PSI. seems to be on there so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue i'm gonna put 35 for now and see what happens i'm scared this thing is gonna explode in my face yes sir everything gucci everything checks out all right Do a check. I'm scared. Right, we good. We good. Luckily, with the front, I don't put that much air in here, so I don't gotta worry about that. Feel me? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So what I'm gonna do with these rims, I'm pretty much gonna preserve these rims for like a, a build in the future. You know, maybe like a mountain bike, maybe a new C100, maybe throw these rims on my fast ripper, but I definitely wanna save these rims because one, they were not cheap to build. I think these rims cost me like three, four hundred, I believe, when it was all said and done. And that is including buying everything for it. So, all right, y'all. There's not really much there is left to do to this thing besides put a regular chain back on here. So we're going to be saying goodbye to this bike for now. I will be taking it out for a ride in the city. Hopefully sometime before I go back to Florida. Hopefully the weather clears up a bit so I can make that happen for you guys. <sighs> by HD Big Ripper. We'll come back to you sometime. Whatever that chain comes in. Might have to overnight it or something. Make sure I got the keys. Yep. All right. Uh, it's raining. So I got to load up some packages. And I ain't trying to go to the car and get the camera wet. So I'm going to just back the car up to the dock so that I can load this stuff up as smoothly as possible. Hello. How you doing? Good, good, man. Don't mind the camera. <laughs> Everyone's creating content. Oh yeah. That's literally. I'm just. I was literally filming me and loading up the car because I'm from Florida. So. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm just out here vlogging, literally. That's a hell of a ride. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, man. Take care. Yep.
we are almost at 70,000 subs close to that 100k mark close to that 100k subscribers plaque so definitely looking forward to that we're gonna keep grinding we almost there oh guys and by the way one way to support my channel hit the link down shopsteasyfilms.com go get you a t-shirt if you guys want to support the channel pick up your t-shirt only 26 bucks and yeah helps me out so i could travel and do the things i love doing so i could provide content to you guys so hit the link down in the description below get you a t-shirt or two if you feel like it you feel me and yeah that's pretty much it all right guys that's the end of this video peace out